I think the I think the most important thing that I, I would like to stress, you know, upon you know, even with the trade is uh, uh, Bud Black for one. I, mean, I don't I don't know if there's a better manager as far as, as far as personality and, and a guy to play for in the game. Uh, the entire coaching staff was wonderful. Um, the teammates here. I mean, we had a great group. It's just unfortunate we didn't win. You know, everyone got along. Um, I'm going to miss everybody. The training staff here is great. The front office treated me great. There was never any, you know, stuff that was going on underneath the surface. And, and Jeff Moore, you know, he was good to me too. So I think that's going to be the, the hardest part about it. Um, I mean, I don't think anyone in that clubhouse wants to lose, obviously, and, and that's kind of you know, where we were at right now. But um, on the flip side, I, I'm excited because um, going to a, another chance to get to the playoffs. You know, a team that's uh, you know in a pennant race and, and um, back in the central, an area where I'm familiar with. Um, uh, it was just uh, the sad things didn't work out here. You know, everything about it was great. It's just we didn't win. It didn't work out. You know, um, last year, you know, I came over in a trade and didn't play up to my kid. But if I would have played more like I played this year, I feel like uh, things could have been different. You know, unfortunately, I. Kind of stunk up the joint last year. This year, uh, you know, I drove in runs. Uh, I did the things they, they wanted me to do last year. And I didn't do it, but you know, it happens. It's baseball. Um, you you got to move on. This is going to be my what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seventh team in eleven years. So um, I've been around the block. What was your expectation when you came in today? No, I thought I was pretty much gone. Really did. You know, uh, you know, I thought there was a small, small chance, but really I was just kind of figuring where I was going. I woke up today figuring, all right, I'm going to be in the playoff race tomorrow. See what city. You know, honestly, I didn't think I was going to be a chance to play this game. I didn't even get ready until 20 minutes before, and I usually take an hour before you get ready. Just took a shower from the clothes on and just kind of went out there and didn't really prepare like I normally do. So I struck two outs, so maybe I should do that. I was just going to say, maybe you're yeah. onto something now. Maybe huh? I'm onto something. I need to do that a little more often. Are you are you disappointed that you're not in a playoff race as you were kind of preparing for something like that? Um, you know, I think at first. I'll be honest, at first I think I was disappointed a little bit because we've been talking about trading me for months now. It wasn't just you know, the last couple of weeks. And uh, But really, during the game, for, I think it was the second inning, I don't want to be where my family is. You know, I'm going to see my kids for at least two more months, you know, if not longer. And, um, you know, I don't really want to leave, leave these guys. You know, and, uh, you know, I still got a lot of knowledge to teach the young guys, like Spence. You know, I can teach them probably throw one or two miles an hour harder. So, uh, or slower, whatever it needs. But, um, you know, I was, you know, I was a little disappointed at first, but really at the end of the day, I was, you know, pretty happy. That, you know, this is really where I want to be. I just, I think I got my head caught up in thinking that I was probably going to be in a playoff race for weeks now since we've been talking about it for months. So, uh, you know, but at the end of the day, I'm, I'm pretty happy and I'm going to be, I think all four of my kids are going to be excited and my wife's going to be happy. So, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, I mean, I didn't think Mikey was going to get dealt. I mean, he didn't think he was going to get dealt. I thought it was me and he was going to close here. So uh, it, was, it was a shocker, uh, but happy for him because he's, I mean, he's from Texas. He loves the Cowboys. They're right next door. I mean, he's got season tickets and he drives like three hours. So now maybe he'll just drive like five minutes. But, uh, uh, you know, I'm happy for him. I think Texas got a great guy. I mean, I don't know who he got in return, a couple starting pitchers or something like that. But, uh, you know, uh, Mikey's an incredible guy. And, you know, I wish him the best and wish him the family the best. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Not necessarily. I mean, if the next couple of months we can come to agreement with something, you know, you know, I'm really looking for three years, you know, because that's what I'm giving up the market. You know, I'm not going to say I want fair market value, but I'd like something close to it. You know, it's kind of a discount. But, um, you know, it's one of those things that, you know, I got three months before uh, the free agency. I'm not looking to free agency to go, hey, look, I want to go test the waters and see get the most amount of money as possible. I'm happy here. You know, if I can come to an agreement, I'll sign here. I don't need to go to free agency. Um, if I go to free agency, then I'll test the waters and go see what's out there. But, you know, it, it's, you know, we'll just have to wait and see if we're going to, you know, work anything out and we're going to start talking. Jason, how much of an excitement level inside this clubhouse to have Heath Bell still here post game? Yeah, it's great. Um, it's an emotional day. I mean, just I wasn't even involved 
and any of that stuff. And just I'm mentally exhausted from it. So uh, you know, we're, we're extremely happy he's still in his clubhouse. These guys, uh, you know, know what we have in him is you know one of the best, if not the best, closer in baseball. So uh, you know, we're excited he's still here. Obviously, we. You know, saw a couple other guys go, but uh, you know that's unfortunate part of baseball. Sometimes when you don't take care of things, they, uh, you know, you lose guys. But uh, right. you know, glad to have Pete still here. Now you talked about the the emotional toll. What's it been like the last few weeks? Ever since really you guys were identified as being in cell mode. Well, I think that our, our guys that were, you know, the, the guys that kind of had that label, everybody, you know, knew. The, the guys were extremely professional about it, so you know they didn't make it a bigger deal than it was. Uh, you know, but having said that, you know everybody in the clubhouse still hears what's going on, still knows. Um, you know, and, and there's just guys in here every day asking about it, so you, you hear it. But um, you know, you, you hate to be in that position. You wish it's the other way around. But uh, like I said, you don't take care of business. This is where you are. Mike Adams, obviously, such a valuable part of this team for the last couple of years. What are your thoughts just on his departure? Well, you hate to see him go because he's obviously a tremendous pitcher, but also, you know, a great clubhouse guy, a good friend. Um, you know, but but you're excited for him because he's going. You know, he's going somewhere where he's got a really good chance to win. Um, you know, he's going close to home if he's not at home. So, you know, he, you're excited for him. You know, if if he has to go somewhere, I think this was a good place for him to go. And for Ryan Ludwig, who's obviously been right behind you or in front of you in the lineup, just depending on how uh, Buddy scratched it out the last year, what was his impact in San Diego while he was here? You know, I, I don't think things necessarily worked out the way that he would have liked to. But uh, what I can say was he's a professional. You know, he came to the field every day ready to play uh, you know and he was he was an outstanding teammate uh, loved having him here uh, you know and I think he did a lot more than people realize I mean I, he did a tremendous job uh, driving in runs this year and uh, you know maybe the average wasn't where he'd like it then but you know regardless of that sometimes you can't control that but he came to the field every day ready to play and uh, you know I think everybody in this team respects him for that and wishes him the best. Now you remember 2009 and the feeling after Jake got dealt and obviously you guys went on a, a tear not to say that hey make a trade and you'll go on a tear but do you see a similarity in terms of maybe a sense of relief or weight lifted off the shoulders? Well, I think now it's, uh, you know, the majority of the moves are, are done. Uh, not to say that some, you know, things can't still happen, but, uh, you know, you, you, you kind of got that behind you now, and you can focus on getting better, and I think that's what, you know, we're going to try to do. We're going to have a lot of young guys getting opportunities. Uh, you know, I think the guys that have been here for a while, it's our responsibility to, to show them how we do things. Uh, you know, regardless of the success that they have, you know, we we develop a, stu you know, a style of baseball that we want to play, and I think we need to... You know, the biggest focus, at least for me going forward, is to instill that and make sure that we, we push in the